So today Stephanie's making a smaller elephant. So can you show me how you started that? Well, I basically drew a pattern onto the side using these photos so that I can get an idea where everything is, mm -hmm. legs, ears, nose. Mm. And once I've done that, it's a matter of adjusting everything to suit. So obviously I can't put these little legs onto this little elephant because it will diminish its overall impact. And I'm looking for it to be big, even though it's only little. Mm. So I'm maintaining bigger. The legs are probably four or five times as large as they would on a real elephant, but then they're probably not, in comparison, not even half the length. Mm -hmm. And then it's a matter of balancing everything, that the spine runs down the middle and that the eyes and nose all look much the same. As you can see, I need to balance this side with this side. So what tools have you used to make it so far? This one, it's a number one it's a chisel, but it's also a knife and used more like a knife. And a bent gouge, which is a hand sized one, and it's a number one gouge. And I've been using a Dremel, large one and a small one. Can you show me the Dremel in action? Yes. This is where Stephanie has to put on her mask just to be safe with regards to all the uh, sawdust. 